Hello Python programmers. So this is the video 11th of our machine learning with Python video series. And in this video, we'll see that what are Lambda functions. So if I try to define Lambda function in one line, then we can say that Lambda functions are functions that are defined in one lines. Okay. So I know you're confused. So if you are already familiar with what are functions actually i have created a video for that also so if you are not aware of functions in python you can watch that video so if you are aware of what are functions in python then you must be knowing that functions are separate piece of code or isolated piece of code that runs or that uh, are executed when they are called so lambda function is nothing different it is also just a type of function. It can be of two type, just like function, user defined and predefined functions. So in this video, we will see that how we can create Lambda function. So let me quickly go to the syntax of Lambda function so that I can explain all the things about Lambda functions. So this is the syntax. Pretty simple. You just write the keyword Lambda. And then the parameters now don't run away from this video because I'll show you practically also I'll show you that how we can create lambda function independently and I'll also show you that how we can create a lambda function inside a regular function so that's so just stay a bit and let me first explain you the theory so first is the keyword lambda and then we write the parameters that are uh, present in this function and then we write the expression. So let's quickly go to our text editor so that we can see a working example. Okay, so first of all, let me show you that how we can create a vanilla lambda function or simply a lambda function. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to write the lambda uh, lambda keyword now if you are able to hear the loud click sound of my keyboard so this is because I bought a new keyboard and if you also want to see that which keyboard I bought the review of that keyboard the link will be provided below now moving ahead so first of all we write the lambda uh, keyword and then we'll write the parameters that we want let's say we want two parameters x and y okay then we'll write colon Make sure that this is not semicolon, it's a proper colon. And then we'll write the expression that we want. Now this is a one line of function. So you have to write the commands that are in one line only. So let's say that we write a equation 3 into x plus uh, let's say 4 into y. Okay, now we need to save this into a variable so that we can see the output otherwise it won't be saved anywhere so so let's do one thing let's uh, yeah okay so let's save this into a variable first and then what we'll do is uh, we'll call this y function actually let's rename this uh, something else let's rename this as a okay so let's call a with the value uh, 1 and 2 okay just to try and then we'll print our uh, output. So the output of this equation should be 3 into 1 which is 3 and 4 into 2 which is 8. So the answer should be 11. So let's save this and let's run our program. And here you can see that the answer is 11. So now you have seen that how we can create a lambda function. You can add the parameters here as many parameters as you want and you can even extend this parameter. Okay. Now let's see that how we can create a lambda function inside a regular function. So what we'll simply do is uh, let's first create a regular function. So let's say uh, no, no, just a number function. Okay. So uh, this no function will have only one parameter which is q okay so no q and then we'll simply return a value which is this lambda function only so we'll copy this lambda function and then simply place uh, paste it here and so what we'll do is let's add this q uh, to see that whether it's uh, added to our answer or not so uh, we'll remove this we don't want this now okay so 
now first of all we'll call the uh, no function so we'll call the no function uh, no with the value let's say one okay so we'll call the uh, no function with the value one and then we'll save this into a variable let's say r okay so uh, now let's uh, print the output of this function so what we'll do is it should be a print okay so what we'll do is we'll call this r variable and then we'll pass these two parameters x and y now let me write first then i'll explain you that why are we doing so okay so let's pass the variable one and two so the value of x and y are one and two let's make this one to make this very simple okay so uh these are one and one and the value of q is also one so the answer that we'll get is three into one which is three plus four into one which is four so this makes it seven and plus one which makes is eight so probably we'll get the answer eight and yes we got the answer eight now let's increase the answer and let's say that we want the answer nine so two nine okay so yep our function is working perfectly so let me explain you that what we have done here so first of all we have created a normal function with uh, with just a normal one parameter and then we have called that function and saved that function into an r variable okay so we have saved that uh, saved that function into an r variable and then we have provided x and y which is inside this function so this is a lambda function inside the function so we have provided this x and y value to this r variable because this is inside this n o function so i guess i got my point clear here okay so uh, now let's discuss that what are some of the positive points or why do we use these lambda functions so there are a few advantages a few of them are first of all these lambda functions are use and throw sort of functions like uh, once you use them and then you don't need to care about them like uh, they can be used for sorting the values or stripping out the names or these small tasks for which you don't want to create a dedicated function you can use these lambda function for those tasks and the second thing where which i like the most is the simplicity of these lambda functions now these are just single line of command and it makes your code your piece of code really small and simplistic so this can be used to increase the presentation of your code okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye